Right guys, so I'm going to be taking you through a little 20 minute Tabata workout today. We're going for rounds of two exercises, 20 seconds work to 10 seconds rest, and we're going to do each round of exercises four times in total. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. Again, get yourself a mat if you have one, a bottle of water nearby. Um, we've got a 10 second lead into the first exercise. I'm just going to run through the first exercise for you now. So 20 seconds all out, as much effort as you can give. First exercise as you've got, you're going to take a burpee, down, back up, stand at the top though, one squat before you go down into that burpee again. So adding in that squat, we're then taking it down to the floor and we're going for a plank hold with shoulder taps. Okay, so nice and simple to start. Right, 10 seconds, get yourselves ready. And then we're going 20 seconds of work. So three, two, one, burpee to squat. Let's go. Add that squat in at the top, nice and low. So again, this is body weight. You choose your pace with it, but with that 20 seconds, you should really be pushing to get as many reps in as you can. Five seconds to go. There you go, 10 second rest. So in that 10 seconds, you're going to take yourself down to the floor and we're going for a plank hold, high plank, tapping the shoulders, core nice and strong. 20 seconds. If you need on this one, you can drop to the knee, but just make sure that core is nice and engaged the whole way through. Three seconds. Rest it there, 10 seconds rest. Stand it up, back ready for that burpee with the squat. Three, two, one, and go. Take it down, stand it up, squat the top, straight back into that burpee. You got five seconds. it there, take it down, that's moving away from me, right, down to the ground, ready for that plank hold with the shoulder taps, core nice and engaged, nice deep breaths, try and avoid too much movement in the body as well, so you don't want to be rocking your hips side to side, deep breaths, Rest it there, stand it up. Already halfway on this first round. Back ready for that burpee. Core strong, jump it down and back. Squat to the top. Ten seconds. Rest it there, 10 seconds, get yourself back down to the floor. Plank hold, shoulder taps. And go. Deep breaths. Rest it there. One more round of these two. Stand it up, back ready for that burpee. Three, two, one, and go. Jump it back, stand it up, squat at the top, back down. Drive the hips forward at the top. Squeeze the glutes. Two seconds and rest it there. Right, take it down to the floor, plank hold, shoulder taps, last time, and go. At the end of this one, you get a bit longer rest, core cool, nice and strong, nice and controlled. Three, two, one, Rest it there. Okay, nice deep breaths. Have a drink of water if you need. 
Okay, next you've got, so we're going for a spider lunge jump. I'm gonna show you this from the front. So you're gonna come into a high plank. You're gonna take your leg wide from there, swap. Okay, so it's gonna work the core, work the bum, work the legs, swapping back and forth. After that, we've got a rear lunge with an optional knee drive if you want it. You have 15 more seconds rest. Grab my drink. Okay, 10 seconds, then we're in that spider lunge jump. Just swapping those legs back and forward. If you wanna take out the jump, just step the leg forward. That's completely fine as well. So nice and wide and jump it. Core nice and strong. Leg as wide and as far up as you can go, as close to the hand as possible. Again, like I said, if you wanna step it back and just bring the leg up, completely fine. 10 seconds rest. So next one we're going for same leg all the way through. Rear lunge, knee drive at the top. Rear lunge, knee drive. Okay, so side on, nice big step back, drive the knee up. If you wanna add a jump, you can add a little jump at the top. All on the right side to start. Next round's gonna be all on the left, then it'll swap. Rest it there. Back down into those spider lunge jumps. Three, two, one, and go. As many reps as you can. It's only 20 seconds of work. Really push for it. Oh, burns. Rest it there. Right, we're lunging on the left side. Nice deep breath, core engaged, hands on the hips if you want for balance, or you can use it and drive the arms as well. Ooh, balance. <sighs> drive it up, core strong. Again, from the side, nice big step back, nice hard drive of the knee up. Rest it there, take it down, two more rounds. <laughs> Spider lunge. And go, 20 seconds. Keep pushing, five seconds to go. back on the right side with that rear lunge knee drive again remember you don't have to have the knee drive if you don't want just the lunge is fine 20 seconds and if you want to add that jump go for it 10 seconds three two one, take it down, last time in those spine lunges. <clears throat> okay, last time, let's go, 20 seconds. Nice big jump of the leg forward. Excellent. Right, left leg in that lunge, last time. Then you get longer rest. And go. Step it back, drive it up. Jump if you want. Take the knee drive out if you want. Your choice. The benefit of a home workout is I can't see what you're doing. I trust you're doing the right thing. And rest it there. Well done. Right. Have a little breather, have a drink. Okay. Next two. Nice and easy. Drop squat. Tap the floor. After that, we have a T press. Now you're coming wide with the T press. It's a regular push up. You're going to press down 
as you come up, rotate up, back down, press, rotate the opposite way. You can come to the knee for the press if you want, but I would stay in a high plank for the rotation. Otherwise you're gonna be twisting a little too much. Five seconds. Core nice and strong. Obviously you can just do a normal press up as well. Drop squats, 20 seconds. So I'm still coming nice and low to the ground with these. Don't cheat the squat. Rest it there, 10 seconds. Then we're in that T press. So you can do a normal press up if you want, or you can add that rotation. Your choice. Core nice and engaged. Drop to the knees if you need for the press. As you come up, high plank. Rotate it up. Back down. Press. Rotate. So we're engaging the core with this one as well. Rest it there. I'm finishing that rep. Right, five seconds, then we're back to the drop squat. And go. Nice and low in that drop squat. Keep going. Nice deep breaths. Push through that burn. Rest it there. Down to the ground, 10 seconds, T press. And go. So you're gonna press down, rotate up, core nice and strong. Press, opposite rotate. Drop to the knees for the press if you need, or just stick with the press. You don't have to add that rotation. Rest it there. Right, two more rounds. Drop squat, let's go. Nice and low, tap the floor each rep. Deep breaths, five seconds, don't stop. Rest it there. Pick it down, I'm telling you not to stop, I'm telling myself not to stop. Ooh. Right, T press, let's go. Rotate up, press, core strong, rotate. Five seconds. Rest it there. One more round, then we're finishing with core. Deep breaths, drop squat last time. Nice and low in that squat, all the way to the floor. Three seconds, rest it there. Take it down, press ups with that rotation. And go. That's a bit of a late start. Press, core strong, rotate, back down. Five more seconds, almost there. Okay. And rest of that, well done. Right, last round, last two exercises, two core exercises. First one is your cardio, it's a plank jack. So coming again to a high plank, you can take it lower if you want. Core nice and strong. All you're gonna do here is jump the feet out and back in. Make sure that bum's nice and low. You can just step it if you want to. We're then going into a V-sit. So you're gonna be sitting on your bum, kicking those legs out, but I'll go through that when we get to it. 15 seconds, plank jacks to start. Really push this last round. 
three, two, one, and go. Bum stay low, core engaged. Just jump the feet out and back in, or step them. It's completely your choice here, whether you want that impact in it or not. Core strong though, all the way through. Rest it there. All right, you're then gonna roll it round. You're gonna take the hands back, core nice and engaged. And all you're doing here is kicking out, bringing the legs back in. If you want, come off with the hands. Okay, 20 seconds. Nice and controlled. With or without the arms, your choice. And rest it there. Back around into those plank jacks. Three more rounds. Last three. Three, two, one, and go. Like I said, with this one, if you wanna come down onto the arms, you can do. If you need to give your shoulders a bit of a rest, give your wrists a rest, Feel free to take the options on this. Rest it there. 10 seconds coming round, V-sits. With the hands on the floor or not, completely your choice. Two, one, and go. Core nice and engaged all the way through. Five seconds. Legs. And rest. Okay. Two more rounds. Roll it round. Plank jacks. Second to last time you gotta do this. And go. 20 seconds. Core strong. seconds to go. Rest it there. Roll it round. V-sits. And you have one more round. Three, two, one, and go. Core engaged. Keep it nice and strong. All the way through. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest it there. I can't talk. One more round. Three, two, one. Plank jacks. Deep breaths. Keep pushing. Slow it down. Try not to stop. Core strong. All the way. Five seconds. Oh, rest it there. Roll it around. These sits. Last 20 seconds of work. You got this. I got this. Oh. Nice deep breaths. Core stay strong. Keep going. 10 seconds. Keep moving. Five. Four, three, two, and one. And rest it there. Oh, that killed me. Oh. Well done, guys. <laughs> See you soon.